Hi everyone, welcome back to Prakasham Tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss about one more example of the autocorrelation function of the random process. And this is the previous examination question. The example is, let x of t be a WSS random process with autocorrelation function is e power minus a mod tau where small a is a positive constant if x of t amplitude modulates a carrier cos of omega naught t plus theta where omega naught is a constant and theta is a random variable uniform on minus pi to pi that is statistically independent of x of t determine the autocorrelation function of the amplitude output modulated y of t so in this figure and this is the modulated waveform Mm, modulated symbol. The, this, mod, uh, this modulator consists of there are two inputs. One is the input signal random process x of t and another signal is carrier signal that is cos of omega naught t plus theta. So the output of this modulated signal is o y of t which is equal to product of these two input signal that is x of t into cos of omega naught t plus theta. So from this figure the output of the random process y of t is y of t signal is x of t cos of omega naught t plus theta. So given that theta is a uniform random variable over minus pi comma pi and its probability density function is f of theta is equal 1 by pi minus of minus pi so which is equal to 1 by 2 pi over minus pi to pi. So we know that the autocorrelation function of y of t is r y y of tau is equal expectation of y of t into y of t plus tau. So from the modulated waveform, the output y of t is equal x of t into cos of omega naught t plus theta and substitute y of t value into here. The RHS term is expectation of y of t is x of t cos of omega naught t plus theta and y of t plus tau. In y of t, in y of t random process, t is replaced by t plus tau, we get y of t plus tau. So the value of y of t plus tau is from the given uh, output modulated signal x of t plus tau into cos of omega naught t plus omega naught tau plus theta. So that is equal expectation of x of t, x of t plus tau into cos of omega naught t plus omega naught tau plus theta into cos of omega naught t plus theta. So the RHS term now we are the independent random variable, statistically independent random variables. So the RHS term can be arranged as expectation of x of t, x of t plus tau into expectation of cos of omega naught t plus omega naught tau plus theta into cos of omega naught t plus theta. So that is equal uh, in the second term uh, to cos a cos b. So numerator and denominator uh, multiplying the numerator and denominator by 2 and after multiplying numerator and denominator the numerator term is 2 cos a cos b. So 2 cos a cos b is cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b. So this is the a and this is the b. So therefore cos of a plus b omega naught t plus omega naught t 2 omega naught t plus omega naught tau plus theta plus theta 2 theta that is cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b cos of a minus b plus omega naught t minus omega naught t is the cancel plus theta minus theta is the cancel and the remaining term is omega naught tau by 2. So now here expectation of x of t x of t plus tau is the autocorrelation function of the random process that is rx x of tau so 1 by 2 into rx x of tau and now here the applying the expectation into each term expectation of cos of 2 omega naught t plus omega naught tau plus 2 theta plus expectation of cos of omega naught tau. So using expectation of x of t expression, uh, expectation of function is equal uh, 1 by 2 into rx x of tau and the first term is expectation of cos of 2 omega naught t plus omega naught tau plus 2 theta. So using expectation of expression that first term is integral minus pi to pi given that the theta range is minus pi to pi. Uh, into density function of the theta that is 1 by 2 pi d theta plus similarly expectation of the second function is integral minus pi 2 pi cos of omega naught tau into density function of the theta is 1 by 2 pi into d theta. 
So that is equal 1 by 2 pi is constant that is written before integration. Here also integrating with respect to theta. So integrating with respect to theta cos of omega naught tau by 2 pi is a constant that is written before integration. So in the first term integral cos is sine. So that is 1 by 2 rxx of tau into 1 by 2 pi. So integral cos is sine of 2 omega naught omega t plus omega tau plus 2 theta by 2 over minus pi 2 pi. Integral 1 d theta is 1 d theta is theta over minus pi 2 pi. So in the first term applying the upper value of theta and lower value of the theta sine of 2 pi, uh, 2 pi plus 2 omega t plus omega tau is sine of 2 omega t plus omega tau and the second term sin of 2 omega t plus omega tau minus 2 pi. So the term can be arranged as sin of sin of minus of 2 pi minus of omega 2 omega t plus omega tau. So we know that sin of minus theta is minus sin theta before negative sin is there minus into minus plus. So therefore uh, sin of 2 pi minus of 2 omega t substitute upper value of theta and lower value of theta the first term is 0 and the second term is substitute upper value of theta and lower value of theta pi minus of minus pi is 2 pi so numerator and denominator in the second term 2 pi is the cancel we get r y y of tau is equal 1 by 2 rxx of tau into cos of omega naught tau